wanted to just give a brief overview of making a WordPress post um, with uh, and utilizing Publicize uh, to post it to your social media accounts. So you'll just log into your WordPress backend by going to your URL forward slash WP dash admin. And then you will see this backend dashboard. You will go to posts. You can view all of your posts. You can just add a new post. You can um, add more categories if you like. Um, we'll just take a look at all of the posts for now because we have the Yoast SEO plugin installed. So over here you can see um, if you have the green uh, lights here, that means you're doing well. You see a post with a red on it. Maybe you want to uh, look at built, look into that a little bit. Uh, it's saying that's the readability score, so that might not be up to speed. But um, you can see if you have some posts scheduled here, whatnot. Um, so and then you can search the posts here. But we want to add a new post. That's what you're interested in, adding a new post. So we'll click that. And here we have the post entry screen. So you'll add the title to your post. So for example, we'll say um, how to sign up for disability. You might use all caps, for example, since it's the title. Disability insurance in Temecula. So then you'll write your post. <clears throat> and here, this is the visual tab. So this is what you'll see as a visual. And you can always uh, select preview to see how it looks on your website. It'll open up a new page and you can preview it. Or if you need to get gritty, you can go to the text and see the back end text here uh, version to make changes. So for example, say we wanted to make a link in our post to the contact us page, we would highlight that and you have this here, which is various editing tools, text color, um, if you want to make different headings, things like that. Um, you can also align your items, you can insert a, or edit a link. So maybe we want, we want to put in a contact us page. So we would just search for the contact page. Oh, well, there it is. We'll apply that. And now we have a link in our post. So, for example, if you look at the text now, you can see it put in the HTML to make that a, a hyperlink to the Contact Us page. Um, we can just select where we would like to add media, for example, an image from our library. Um, and here, just leave that the same. We can just insert that into the post. Uh, maybe we want to align it to the left. Oops, we'll highlight it and align it not to the center, to the left. You can see what's selected for a particular item. Um, it'll be highlighted up here. So we're aligning it in two different ways, left and right. It looks like right is overpowering it. Well, we don't want that. We want it just to align to the left. All right, and we can even turn that into a hyperlink, um, which it already is, or we can just remove the hyperlink. <clears throat> And then moving on, we just look over here if we want a standard format, which primarily that's what you'll want. But uh, you could, if you want to just post an image or maybe a gallery, there's different formats you could play around with um, if you like. And then over here, the categories, make sure you select one category. You can also add a new category if you want to add a new category of posts. Add some tags if you like, which helps with uh, the search functionality of your site. And I was testing a sharing button um, with Publicize, but uh, it's not working very well right now. So um, I should have this removed, but uh, just don't select that sharing buttons. It really doesn't matter because I'm going to remove that functionality anyway, unless we find until I find something better. Um, okay, so also on the right side here, you see the status is a draft. Uh, the visibility is public. Can change that if you want to make it private or password protected. Uh, publish immediately. This is what you're concerned with. If you want to write three or four posts and then schedule them for the future. So let's say August, we want this one to go, to go out. Let's select OK. You can see where this button, it changed from publish to schedule. So when you click schedule, it will not actually post until the future, that future date. 
<clears throat> so Yoast is giving you some feedback right now about your readability and the SEO. Uh, before I go on to that though, let's take a look here. Publicize is installed. It's going to automatically post to Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. So that will happen when it posts on the uh, scheduled date and time. When it posts there, it will post to the social media accounts. It will take the first few sentences or paragraph from your text here, or you can edit that to be whatever you would like. Uh, you can see it already pulled how to sign up for disability insurance in Temecula. You could change that if you like. Um, then this SEO stuff here, you can look at the Yoast SEO section. <clears throat> so we're talking about disability insurance. Maybe you want to have a focus keyword of disability insurance. Okay, that's good. Now um, you can edit this snippet as well. Here's how to sign up. Contact us today. Maybe you want to make the meta description something else. Contact us today for disability insurance. You'd want to make this longer. You can see this is green. It's good to have it until, it, uh, I mean, it's orange. It's good to write until it turns green, uh, 200 characters or so, I think, because this is what it's going to look like in search results. And you want a sentence or two there. <coughs> so that's about all you need to worry about for that. And I think that about sums it up. Um, then you'll click schedule and it'll go out as a schedule. I'm just going to exit out of here and not save this. All right, let me know if any questions.